Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall. Uh, it is recorded for Thursday, uh, December 31st. Just a reminder um, that this evening there will be a divine service here at St. John's um, at 5 p.m. Um, as we close out a, a year and pray for God's uh, rich hand of blessing um, on the year to come. So that's at 5 p.m. this evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Unto us the Christ is born. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great king, God and a great king above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. It used to be in the church, uh, the, the celebration of New Year's was actually tied um, to a festival, uh, the naming of our Lord Jesus and the circumcision um, of our Lord. I remember looking into it uh, when I came to St. John's oh, six, seven years ago and, and and searching in the Milwaukee area, and, and I only could find one of our churches that actually still had a New Year's Day service, a thing of the past maybe, um, and, and most of our New Year's services, ours included, um, no longer um, tied to that minor festival of uh, the name of our Lord or the circumcision of our Lord, but but focusing on the the Lord's promise to be with us and in the year to come as he graciously was in, in, in the year past. And, and nothing wrong with that, of course. But for our devotion today and tomorrow, I thought I'd just focus on uh, those two things. Uh, first today, the, the name of our Lord Jesus, and then um, tomorrow, uh, the circumcision of our Lord. Um, because I could not find a decent recording of this hymn um, online, um, this is the hymn number 76 from our hymnal, Jesus' Name of Wondrous Love. Jesus, name of wondrous love, name all other names above, unto which must every knee bow in deep humility. You see the Philippians chapter 2 language. That would be a good read for the new year. Philippians 2, 1 to 11. Verse 2. Jesus, name decreed of old, to the maiden mother told, kneeling in her lowly cell by the angel, Gabriel. You have Luke chapter 1 imagery there. Verse 3. Jesus, name of priceless worth to the fallen here on earth, for the promise that it gave, Jesus shall his people save. And I wonder if we sometimes make this more difficult than it needs to be. Jesus, he shall save his people, he shall save you. Verse 4. Jesus, only name that's given, under all the mighty heaven, whereby all to sin enslaved, burst their fetters and are saved. It was the name of the Lord that was placed on the Israelites um, as they as they wandered, um, that name of the Lord that went with them. This is the only name that frees from slavery. Jesus, name of wondrous love, human name of God above. Pleading only this we too, flee, O God, in faith to you. And I think that's a fitting thing for the end of a year. I think that's a fitting thought um, as we begin a new year. Finally, what else are we going to flee to? What else are we going to hang on to? Um, trusting only in in you, O Lord. It's an interesting thing, this name of Jesus, the one name under heaven given to men 
by which we shall be saved. It's an interesting thing, this name of Jesus. This is how we know who the Father is. This is how the Father has displayed himself, not as an angry God, but as a God of mercy, a God of deliverance. We learn that um, from God, not by peering into the skies or marveling at his creation, although he certainly is on display there too. But we learn that he's merciful and we learn that he comes to save wrapped in claws and lying in a manger. This name of the Lord tattooed on his children in the Old Testament, spoken over God's people now for, what has it been, 34, 3500 years? The, the name that we hear at the end of our services, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Lord, look on you with his favor and give you peace. It's that name of God that has been placed on you in your baptism. A name that says, look up, look back. If this is what you want to do on December 31st, go ahead. Look back over the last year and see if you find one day, one moment, where I was not a God for you. This is the name. God says, go ahead, stand on the verge of a new year. Take a look. Am I not the same God who promises to be with you every step of this way as well? Um, the children of Israel um, didn't stand a chance, not on their own. And there are certain times in our life where we become increasingly aware of that on our own, where we would be. In the holy, saving name of Jesus, placed on you, standing beside you, going with you. O oh, Jesus, name of wondrous love, the human name of God above. This is how he's known to his humanity. Pleading only this, we too flee, O oh God, in faith to you. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O oh Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your servants with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O oh Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the Lord be taken away. Great in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in mercy, you sent your one and only Son to take upon himself our human nature. By his gracious coming, deliver us from the corruption of our sin and transform us into the likeness of his glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Oh, man. Oh.